Hey Veronica, look what I did to my hand. <gasps> Take the safety pin. Move it just like that. How did you do that? You nailed it. No way. <gasps> Quick world tour announcement. Sunday, June 17th, 2018 at 4.30 p.m. We will be on the Santa Monica Pier in Los Angeles, California for a California fan meetup. Come get some free merch, meet me and the crew, and get featured in our How To Magic Around The World video. That's this coming Sunday, June 17th, 2018 at 4.30 p.m. on Santa Monica Pier. We'll be right by the big Ferris wheel. Hope to see you there. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, 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 magic. I am your host Evan Era. Today we're showing you three amazing magic tricks that you can do at home right now. Right now? Right now. Go. Here's a fun balloon trick perfect for summertime. Okay, I have a really cool trick to show you. So I have a balloon inside yes. of a balloon here. That is so cool. So what I want you to do, just hold the balloon for me on either end. Yep, okay. just like that. So I also have a deck of cards here. They're all different. See, they're not the same card. Yes. Um, so since you have your hands full here, I'll actually uh, kind of do this hands free for you. Just say stop whenever you want as I kind of like ripple down the side of the deck. Okay. Uh, whenever you feel it. Stop. Right there. Okay. Take a look at the card. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So we're going to take the card. I'm going to put the rest of the cards in my pocket. We okay. just need this one. It's okay if I see the card. Queen of clubs. I'm actually going to roll it up just like this. Okay. Like that. See? Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take the card right here, it's going to go in this hand, and watch if I just, it goes right down through Did it go balloon. inside? It actually did, watch. Just hold this one tight, okay? What? Watch, I have a magnifying glass here. Watch the inside balloon. secret behind magically popping a balloon inside another balloon. First off, you're gonna need one of these clear balloons. You're also going to need a regular balloon. We're gonna use one of our Laugh at Life balloons. Available in packs of five, perfect for birthday parties. Pick those up at EvanEraTV.com. So first things first, you're going to put your regular balloon inside your clear balloon. Let me show you how. First step is to roll up this balloon just like this. You kind of twist on the end and you're going to feed it into the mouth of this balloon. That and kind of twist as it goes in. Then you're just going to kind of work it down into the other balloon like this. And as you go, it will kind of untwist like that. Now we have a balloon inside a balloon. Our next step is to inflate them. Once you've got the one balloon inflated inside the other, you can actually blow a little air into the balloon outside by just separating the two balloon knots. And only blow into this part and you can inflate the outside balloon only. Then you can go ahead and tie the inside balloon off. Now you can let that one slip inside the other just like so. Now we can inflate the exterior balloon a little bit more and then tie off the exterior balloon. So now you have your balloon inside a balloon which already looks really cool. But what's really cool about this is you can take a magnifying glass, magnify the sun's light, and if you position it properly you can pop the balloon inside this one. It's all about concentrating that dot of light in the proper place on the balloon. If you get it in the right spot and the sun is bright enough, the heat of the sunbeam concentrated will actually burn through the latex of the balloon causing it to pop. Because the light is not concentrated enough on the exterior balloon, this one remains unharmed only popping the inside balloon. It's a really cool balloon trick that you can try on a sunny day. And now you know how to do the balloon inside the balloon trick. So since this video is three easy magic tricks, here's a fun card trick that you can perform with three cards anytime, anywhere. Okay, I have a really cool card trick to show you. I have a normal deck of cards here. You just shuffle them up as much as you want. <laughs> mixy, mixy, mixy. Whichever way. I like to look at them. However you feel. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Do what you feel. Uh -huh. Yes. A wonderful shuffle, if I do say so <laughs> myself. So, uh, Thank you. I don't want to mess with the deck or anything. All I want you to do is take the six of hearts and place it face down on the table from the top of the deck. I want you to make it the six of hearts. How Just like I use your... Use your willpower and make this the six of hearts. Place it face down right there. You don't need to look at it yet. Just place it face down. You will be the six of hearts. Just take it off the yeah. top. Off the top. Don't take a look yet. 
Perfect. Do you feel like it was a six of hearts? I feel like it was. Yes. Good job. Yeah, perfect. Uh, really? Now I want you to take from the middle of the deck, anywhere you feel like it, the king of diamonds. Where do you feel like the king of diamonds? How is? am just I reach supposed to do that? Just use your intuition and just go straight in. Wherever you, you said, hit the king. Yep, go straight I'm in. Good Put so the card far. face down right there. All right. Wherever. Uh, yeah. Just face down right there. Perfect. Put it back on there? Well, yep. Very good. Uh, really? Last but not least, There's I want no you to take way. from the bottom of the deck, that's the last card on the bottom, the seven of hearts. Bottom of the deck, face down right here. You don't have to look at it, just face down right there. Perfect. Very well done. So first things first, six of hearts, right? Yes, six okay. of hearts, yeah. So it's six of hearts from the top, king of diamonds from the middle, seven of hearts from the bottom? Yes. You nailed. Literally. No way. How would I know how to do that? That is crazy. Can I just... oh. How does that even happen? You're magic. I know, that was so crazy. I want to know how that works. You can actually do this every time, like for someone else. Really that is insane. Okay, here is the secret of the magic three card draw. You can do this with any deck of cards at any time. This is actually an adaptation of an old trick that we've shown before. One of the fans at the New York meetup actually showed me this version, and then I adapted it a little bit again to show it to you. So it's really cool, you can do it with any deck of cards, and you actually have the spectator shuffle the cards as much as they want. So it can be their deck, they shuffle up, and then all you have to do when they hand the cards back to you is peek the bottom card of the deck. You're just going to take a little glance at the bottom card when they're handing it back to you as you're placing it into your hand. Now in this case it's the king of diamonds. We're going to sit the cards down on the table like this. You're going to tell them to remove from the top of the deck the king of diamonds and put it face down on the table without looking at it. It's key that they don't look at the card because it's not going to be the king of diamonds. It's going to be a random card. Now you're going to take a look at the card before they do and you're going to act like they got it right. All you're doing is remembering which card it is because because this is the card that you're gonna ask them to pick from the deck next. So now I want you to reach into the middle of the deck anywhere you want and pick out the 10 of hearts. So they reach in and they grab what they think is the 10 of hearts. It's not gonna be the 10 of hearts because the 10 of hearts is here. So it's the nine of spades. You don't show them this card either. They have to immediately set it face down on the table. You pick it up, look at the card, act like they got it right again. Remember this card because this is the card that you're gonna ask them to draw from the bottom of the deck. You ask them to draw the card from the bottom of the deck and place it face down. We already know that this card is the king of diamonds so we don't need to look at it. They place the card face down without looking at it and you simply add it to the mix with the other two cards and kind of shuffle their order around so that your spectator can't track which card is which. Lay them down in the order that they were selected and it looks like your spectator just magically pulled three cards from the deck with no explanation as to how. Try that at home and amaze your friends and fans. Now you know the secret behind performing the magic three card draw trick. This next one is our how to magic trick of the week. Brought to you by www. EvanEraTV.com. Check out the link in the description. It's our official website. You can find information about our tour, pick up some cool magic tricks, and grab some Laugh at Life gear in time for summer. Our trick of the week is a super easy magic trick with an everyday object. Check it out. Okay, I have a really cool trick to show you, so check this out. I have a safety pin right here in my pocket. Okay, yeah. Now watch. Uh, you can see it's clipped in just like that. If I grab it like this, I can actually just move it. Whoa! Just like that. Is that really hooked in? That's a real safety pin, that's crazy. How did you do that? All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Here's what you're gonna need to set up this magic trick. All you're gonna need are two safety pins. You need them to be identical size to each other. You're also going to need two little magnets and you're also going to need some wire snips. You're gonna use these to cut the safety pin right here. Once you've clipped out the piece of the safety pin, you can throw this away. So this is your gimmick safety pin, which attaches to the two little magnets there and there. Here's your setup before the trick starts. You're gonna take the gimmick safety pin, that is the one that you snip the middle out of, take your two little magnets and put them inside your pocket and you're just gonna line up the top of the safety pin right there with the magnet. Now you're gonna take your other little magnet and position it at the bottom of the safety pin. You have that magnet inside your pocket just like the other one and it's going right there on the bottom of the pin just like that. Now it's good to bunch up a little bit of the material of your pants in between the two sides of the safety pin just like that. Kind of sells the illusion of the pin going through the pants. So now with the two magnets holding it in place you can walk around ready for performance with this. The other step before the trick starts is to take your duplicate safety pin, that's the one that you didn't cut, and clip it on the other side of your pant leg. You want to do this in the same fashion that the other one is oriented, just like that. This is hidden from the spectator's view for the duration of the trick 
trick. So you're gonna start out by calling attention to the safety pin through your pocket right here. You can wiggle the safety pin back and forth that creates a really convincing illusion that it's through your pants. Then all you have to do is place your hand over top and you're just gonna grip the safety pin with either side of your hand, like the pinky and the thumb. We're gonna kind of grip the pin like this. And then you can kind of move this over. The magnets will move with it. Then you can show it on the edge of the pocket just like this and then move it once more all the way across your pants. You're gonna keep this one palmed right here. Show the real one, it looks like the clip is just moved all the way across your pant leg. Your spectator could even unclip it if they wanted to. Remove it just like that. A key to setting this up is making sure you set up the first pin on your pocket. And if you don't have cargo pockets on your pants, you can do it on your normal front pocket. When you keep moving the safety pin over gripped in your hand, these magnets are gonna fall down into your pocket and be contained by the pocket so the spectator doesn't see them. So a presentation you can do if you don't have cargo pants, you can clip this to your back pocket. This is the real one. Now this can be hidden behind you from the beginning of the trick. Start off with your magnets here. They're gonna go inside the pocket of the pants. Presentation with normal pants right here on the front. Come right over with your hand. Just pull it right across all the way around. Be clipped right there on your back pocket. If you're slick enough, you could even plant this on the spectator, like maybe clip it to the back of their hoodie. Then you can actually take the gimmick safety pin and make it look like you safety pin it on the inside of their pocket by just slipping your hand with the magnets inside their pocket and making it look like you pin the safety pin onto their sweatshirt. Another really, really, really important part of this trick. When you first clip a safety pin, as you can see, this part will pop up significantly. So that really doesn't look right if you clipped it to your pants. You have to take some pliers and bend this down. Now this is actually a trick that I invented. And if you don't wanna set this up at home, you don't wanna go through all this work of cutting the safety pins and bending the safety pins and finding the right magnets. I'm actually making this available like a pre-packaged little set in the shop for you guys. So you'll get a pre-made gimmick safety pin just like this. You'll either get two of these little neodymium button magnets or you'll get one long bar magnet to go with the gimmick pin. And then of course you will get this duplicate normal pin for people to inspect at the end of the trick. We're making this available now so if you don't want to set it up at home you can pick up this little kit at evaneratv.com. The link for that is in the description of this video. I'm also going to give three of these away at the end of the video to lucky comments in the comment section below. So if you want to win this trick and amaze your friends and family with some simple everyday objects, stay tuned until the end of the video. You can also set up a fun Halloween type prank. All you do is take your gimmick safety pin, wedge it just like that. Totally looks like it's going through your hand. A lot of different possibilities with this. You can come up with a lot of different tricks. For instance, you could take a safety pin, put it in your hand, and then if you rub, it looks like it goes all the way down through your hand and actually just Oh, it gets stuck coming out the other side. You freak out your friends and family with this illusion. It really does look convincing that there's a safety pin going through your hand. You could even add like a touch of fake blood on each side. Make it look like you safety pinned your fingers together. Pretty freaky looking. Hey Veronica, look what I did to my hand. <gasps> no, you didn't. Why would you do that? Yeah, you're gonna it shake really it. It looks really real, doesn't it? <laughs> Not real? Ow! And that is the secret behind the magic safety pin trick. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it. Be sure to head over to evanarytv.com, link in the description. You can pick up some Laugh at Life balloons, official bicycle playing cards, and a pre-made kit to do our new safety pin trick. Again, the link for that is in the description of this video or at evanarytv.com. And that leads us to our giveaway for this week. For this giveaway, we're giving away three decks of cards, three packs of balloons, and three pre-made kits for the moving safety pin trick. If you want to win any of these free magic giveaway items, leave a comment in the comment section down below and give the video a thumbs up. It's time to announce our giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send us a private email with your full mailing address to this email address right here. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. You're in it. You're in it. I gave it away though. <laughs> the light, the light. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. Tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you see all of our videos. Check out my second channel on YouTube right down there. It's Evan Era Vlog. Subscribe to that as well. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys. <laughs>